what's up guys jersey joel fishing here today is june 19th 2020 gonna have some dinner then i'm gonna head over to a lake i've only been to twice we're gonna fish for about an hour at sunset i might throw top water or a senko and uh we'll see if the fish are biting so i'll talk to you guys when i get over to the lake all right All right, we're here at the lake. Only been here twice, like I said. Hope the camera angle's okay. Forgot my chest strap at home, so I'm using the helmet one. Might be a little bit higher. Stacy's over here using a wacky worm. Gonna try something I don't normally throw. This is a big paddle tail swim bait. You can just cast it out and do a medium retrieve, do a couple of pauses, a couple of jerks. You know, it's the paddle tail that gives it all the action though. That triggers a lot of strikes. So I don't normally throw these, but it's a really good summer bait. When the water's warm and the fish are active, they're hitting moving baits a lot now in the summer. So let's try this first. Maybe I'll try top water. See what happens here, guys. Here we go, first cast. It's a big swim bait, so. You would think a big fish would hit it. All right, let's try top water. Water's nice and flat. Let's try the uh, tiny torpedo and see. No wind over here in this spot. Let's see what happens. Here we go. the next day hey guys well it's the next day didn't get nothing over at that lake at sunset with stacy you know we were there for over an hour it was just really really hot and we didn't get nothing you know the fish probably were out deeper where the water was cooler and then today it was hot again today but we had really bad thunderstorms you know when it gets that hot and humid it was near 90 you know all that moisture has to get released somehow and and that's why you have heavy thunderstorms you know tomorrow's the first day of summer so it's going to be hot temperatures now it's been for the last few weeks it's gonna continue on all summer here. So the thunderstorms just let up. I'm gonna head over to the beaver pond behind me. I've only fished the beaver pond locally once in the last like two months. I've been bouncing around a lot of other different spots. But like I said, these thunderstorms, you know, they're coming and going. So I don't wanna to go too far. It's about 7 p.m., 84 degrees right now. I have maybe an hour and a half of daylight left. And if the thunderstorms let up, it should be pretty good fishing, we'll see. Let me get my poles and head up there and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Man, it was pouring. Heavy lightning, heavy thunder. Look at this water trail. All the thunderstorms made over here on this trail. At least the trees will give me some cover from the rain if the thunderstorms start again, so. All right, let's see if they're biting. Definitely gonna try top water first. Try the Booyah Frog. Booyah Pad Crasher Jr. I got a green, yellow, and teal. I have to get another brown one. The store is all out of them. Everybody's buying fishing stuff now for the summer. They're all out of topwater frogs, fishing line, everything. It is raining still, very lightly though, but the thunderstorms are passing, so. All right, here we go, first cast, guys. Cast it right back there along the, the weed line. Got to be a big one back there sitting there. Let me try a, uh, a Senko worm or a Wacky worm. And maybe I'll go back to top water in a bit. I'm going to try a different color. Let me try a green, red watermelon flake. Just going to Wacky rig it. I like the wacky rig. A lot of times the bass hit it on the drop. It's more natural. And we'll see if they want this. Figured I'd catch something here. Conditions are really good, so 
and it's warm. It's like 84 still. All right, see if they want this. Here we go. Just cast it out there. Watch the line. Once you see the line go out straight like a bullet, then the fish has it in its mouth. Then you can wait like two seconds and set the hook. Very, very easy technique using a wacky rig. That's why I like to use the braided line. It'll pull the bass through the thick weeds. A big one won't break off. I got 40 pound braid on here. Shimano syncopate reel here. Spinning reel. And I got like a medium heavy rod. A few moments later. There we go. Got one. Got one, guys. Nice one. Fifth cast on the wacky worm. Do you see my line go out like a bullet? Oh, he's not a giant, but he hit hard. Oh, he's not, he's not bad. He's not bad. Chunk football. Holy cow, is he fat. I'll take it. Nice two pounder. Look at that belly. He is fat. Perfect size football, guys. On the wacky worm. I casted it way back there. That line went out like a bullet. He slammed it. Look at that. Choked it. All right, got it out. Get a quick photo. He's a little football. Let's get a weight on him, just for kicks. I was right, almost two pounds. One pound, 13 ounces. Three ounces short of two pounds. Nice little football. I was almost dead on on the weight. Three ounces short of two pounds. Look at that belly. He's got a fat belly. Perfect football. Let me get a photo real quick. I'll throw him back. One last view of this little football bass here, guys. First fish of the evening on the wacky worm. All right, buddy. I'll let you go. I'll see you. Show you guys the release. Oh, did a backflip. There he goes. See you, buddy. Gave me a little shower when he left. All oh, the rain's starting again. That's all right. I got these trees here to keep me uh, keep me dry. I'm going to keep using the wacky worm. Been here about a half hour. First bass of the night. Let's keep fishing. Nice little two pound football. Let's see if we can get fish number two here. Really all you have to do, like I said, is watch your line. Watch your braided line. It floats on top of the surface and it'll start going out straight like a bullet. Something has it and it's pulling it like a tug of war. And then you just set the hook. That's it. They see it falling to the bottom like a natural worm and they come right over and they strike it. All right, I'm gonna go back to top water. I'm gonna try non-weedless, the tiny torpedo. There's a lot of open pockets in between the weeds here, so I'll be able to use this. Just let it sit there and twitch it like a bug. Very subtle. Let's see if I get one to come up and hit this. We'll see, here we go. Just gonna let it sit for a minute. Give it a couple gentle twitches every five or 10 seconds. That usually triggers a strike. Got one. Third cast on the torpedo, guys. You see that? Didn't even twitch it. He got off. That was a nice pass. Got off. Got off on the weeds. You see that? Third cast. I didn't even twitch it. He came right up and slurped it. That was a nice fish. He went down in the weeds. Got buried in him. He got off. It happens. Thought I had him hooked good. I had him reeled in more than halfway. There's a lot of thick weeds right in front of me. He dove right down. Helped break him off. There's two sets of trebles on this torpedo. So 
He probably had one set in his mouth and the other set was exposed. It grabbed onto the thick weeds and it broke them free. It happens. All right, let's see if we can get another one. That was the perfect cast. I casted right in between the weed clumps, a little clearing, and he came right up and slurped it. That's why I will use a non-weedless top water when there's weeds around. Because you cast it in the open pockets, they see it hit the water, and they think it's an easy meal. They don't want it to get away. They hit it right away. Didn't even twitch it. That strike was like two seconds after I cast it. That was a nice fish. You see that? I casted the torpedo. The second I hit the water, a fish hit it, but he missed it. Let's see if he bites again. He misjudged the distance. He missed it on the side of it. There's nothing like top water fishing in the summer. Heart, heart stopping adrenaline, that's what it is. Just waiting for the strike, it's exciting. Every other bait, you don't see the strike. You can feel the strike, but you can't see it. It's nothing like seeing a top water strike, nothing. Got one. Oh, he got off. That was a nice fish. Second nice one I lost. You guys see that way back there. Nothing I could do. Weeds all over it. I had them on. They dive right down to the bottom where the weeds are when they get hooked. That's all right. There's more than one in here. Now is when they're biting. The first twitch, I saw the wake. He came right over and inhaled it. My heart is like pumping. This is like pure adrenaline right now. The next day. Hey guys, it's the next morning, 6 a.m. Got up very early. I am back with a vengeance. Did land that one two pound chunk at sunset last night. I lost about six or seven more fish, but I'm determined to make up for that this morning. Let's see how the sunrise bite is here compared to sunset. We'll see. It's a little foggy out. It's so early but it's gonna get hot later, so right now it's 61 degrees, nice and cool. Hopefully uh, I can get some more fish here this morning. Nice and flat, it is foggy, but there's no wind. Looks perfect for top water, absolutely perfect. And that's what I'm gonna throw first. I'm actually gonna throw a brand new top water I've had for a while. Never took it out of the package. It looks like a big torpedo. You can walk the dog with it. It's a pretty popular top water. That's the Zara Spook. The Heden Zara Spook. Heden is the same company that makes the torpedo. You can walk the dog with it. You can twitch it. You can let it sit there like the torpedo. This one's got yellow and black spots with the uh white underbody actually it's a it's not a spook it's a zara puppy which is a a smaller version of the spook the spook's a lot bigger the heden zara puppy i got this on sale i think last fall and uh never took it out of the package until now so figured i'd try it out you know brand new lore it's got two sets of sharp treble hooks and hopefully uh, we can land a fish here on this, this morning, we'll see. All right guys, see if they want the Zara puppy. Here we go, first cast. You could reel it in medium, you can walk the dog with it, twitch it side to side. I'm just gonna do a very subtle approach first and see what they want. Just gonna let it sit, give it a couple twitches and wait, a couple more twitches. Walks the dog so easily. Ten seconds later.
Got one, guys. Nice one. Third cast with the Zara puppy. It's not going to hit the water. Didn't even twitch it. Feels nice. Coming towards me. Good fight, good fight. Nice fight, nice bass. Nice bass. Didn't take long. What was that, the third cast with it, or the fourth cast? On the Zara puppy, slammed it. Another football. He's similar to the one I caught last night on the wacky rig. He slammed that Zara puppy. Guys, I didn't even twitch it. Look at that. Slammed it. Absolutely slammed it. Look at that. Look at that football chunk. Another fat bass. These are some football shaped bass here, I'm telling you. I came back here for revenge. This morning after losing so many last night, even though I landed one and I got my revenge. Look at this. Fourth cast on the Zara puppy. I've been here maybe five minutes. That's it, guys. That's it. Thanks for hitting the Zara puppy. I'll see you. There he goes. See you later, Bass. All right. All right, let's see if we can get fish number two here. Here we go. Like I said, I did not even walk the dog with it or twitch it or nothing. I just casted it. A second after it hit the water, maybe a second and a half, he came up and slammed it. He wanted it. He was hungry. One minute, 37 seconds later. Another one. Another one, guys. He's jumping. He's not going to hit the water. Another one. Whoa, look at that jump. Good fight. Another one. Guys, this was two casts later. They love this Zara puppy. They love it. Again, I did not even twitch it. I just casted it. It sat there and he slammed it. I love the profile on this thing. I told you, it looks like a torpedo, just longer. Same company. Just a bigger torpedo. Two very sharp treble hooks. You're almost guaranteed a hook set when they slam it. Didn't even twitch it. Man, that was a good fight. Another little football. Not going to get a picture of him. Just going to get him thrown back quickly. See if we can get a bigger one. They're loving this thing. I'm glad I opened this new lure and tried it this morning. Fish number two here within three casts on the top water Zara puppy. All right, buddy. See you later. Thanks. There he goes. All right, that was great. I've been here not even 10 minutes, guys. Two bass on top water. There's nothing like it. It is Father's Day today. Gonna be hanging out with my two daughters and the family later. Everyone's sleeping, so that's why I wanted to come early this morning. This is an early Father's Day present for me, catching two bass on top water so far. Let's see if we can get number three. Happy Father's Day to me. All right, you did good, Zara puppy. You did great. Definitely going to use this top water again for sure. After catching three fish in about 15 minutes. Alright, let's try the trusty wacky worm. I'll try the red watermelon flake. And here we go. A few minutes later. Here we go. Ready? Got one. 
Nice one. Oh, he's fighting good. Fifth cast on the wacky worm. Oh, look at that jump, guys. Another nice football. Get in here, buddy. Come here. Biggest pass of the day. Look at this. There we go. Big one. Let me get a weight on him for sure. Look at this pass, guys. Biggest one in the morning here. Guys, look at this bass. He's, he is strong. Come here. There we go. Biggest fish of the morning. All right, let's get a measurement on him and a weight. He's got to be at least three. Look at that. Eighteen inches, guys. All right, easy, easy, easy. Hold on. Got me all dirty. Eighteen inches. Let's see what he weighs. Oh, the battery's dead. I gotta change the battery on this thing. Goes on for two seconds and it turns off. All right, it's all right. 18 inches, he's at least three. At least three pounds. All right, Mr. Largemouth. Thanks for hitting the wacky worm. I'll let you go. There he goes. See you, buddy. All right, that was great. I've been here not even an hour. Four fish. That was the biggest one in the morning for sure. Four fish. Three on top water. One on the wacky worm. Gonna fish for another half hour. See if we can get an even five fish. I'll be out of here. Came back here for revenge after missing so many last night, even though I landed one. Wasn't satisfied with just one fish here. Got up early. This place is nice and close. Perfect. Couldn't have turned out any better. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I was here for like an hour and 20 minutes. I did catch four fish, three on the top water Zara puppy, and I caught one on the wacky worm. So I wanted to come back here this morning, get my revenge. I didn't want to just get one fish. I ended up catching four this morning. So five for this video, all on top water and the wacky worm. It was a lot of action, very exciting here. It's the first day of summer today, Father's Day, so longest day of the year. And all the way through the summer now, the water's warm, the bass are gonna be biting all summer, you know. So get out there and throw your top water, throw your Senkos, throw your Wacky Worms. Very, very effective in the warm months when the water is very warm. You know, the bass are very active, the spawn's over, and it's a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you the next one, all right? Have a good one, guys.